welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to take a look at an actual little known or little known to me SharePoint permission level that became available with the classic UI in SharePoint, uh, and specifically SharePoint Online. I have not tested this out with any of the recent SharePoint on-premises versions, particularly SharePoint 2016 and 2019. However, this does work on SharePoint Online. I will show you how you can actually block downloading of files. Uh, again, the caveat being this actually only applies when you are running the modern UI in SharePoint. So let's actually dive over to the screen and take a look at this. All right, so over here, you can see I have a SharePoint environment. I am running in the classic UI. Uh, I also have some permission levels over here. So this is the same site, the same demo environment. Uh, you can see it's site slash demo here. I am just in the document library over here of site slash demo. This user, I'm logged in with one of my demo users. Uh, over on this permission site, I'm logged in with my account with my user that at least has full control over this site. So these are those out of the box default permission levels. And I ran across this as I was looking for some ways to set some different permission levels and somebody walked through the guidelines of setting the uh, permission levels manually, which got me digging into this. By default, visitors in your SharePoint site uh, actually get this read access and they can view pages, list items, and download documents. But if you go look at view only, this description has been changed from what I believe it used to be. I need to look at an on-prem environment, but you'll notice at the end here, it's document types with server-side file handlers can be viewed in the browser, but not downloaded. So I thought, huh, this is interesting. Let's go dig around a little bit and test this out. So sure enough, in the SharePoint site, in my document library here, where I have all my documents, I went in and customized the library settings and the permissions for this document library and gave this demo user this view only permission level, which supposedly blocks downloads. If I navigate over now to that document library where I'm signed in with that demo user, and sure enough, if I select a document, I no longer have that download option up here in the top link. If I click the ellipses and try to download, that download option is actually completely gone. Users can still open these. I can open this document. I can view it in Word Online. I can browse back and look around, but I don't have that download option. However, like I mentioned, this does get a little weird when you switch back to classic mode. So it's not even necessarily classic mode versus the modern UI, but it's actually certain files in classic mode versus the modern UI. So you'll see over here on my PDF document, if I click to access the properties, I don't have any of those download options available. Same thing with a Word document. So if I click here, no download options. If I return to classic view and refresh just because the UI is a little weird like that sometimes, you'll see now I'm back in classic mode. If I go to any of those Word documents and select them, click the ellipses, I still don't have download here in classic view in SharePoint Online. Again, I'm not exactly sure how this is, uh, applies to SharePoint on-premises. Same thing here, document one though, with a PDF file, I get a different experience where I can click the ellipses, click the ellipses again, and I actually have that option to download it. I can go save this, save it to my local computer, and have no options downloading it. Jump right back to that classic experience, and again, my download options go away. So it appears like those Office documents, the Word, Excel, PowerPoint, don't have any issues blocking those downloads in either classic or modern UI when it comes to uh, that view only permission level. However, PDFs, you do have to be a little careful there. What's actually driving this if you go look at the permission levels? I'm gonna jump back over to my window now where I have these permissions and look at the permission levels that I have created. Read, again, is the one that will give you download. There is a single permission level in this view only that makes all of the difference. So if you open up view only, 
this open items actually makes the difference between if you can download files and if you can't. So the view application pages, view items, uh, view pages, all of those are necessary to open this up and view it in the browser. Uh, open items is what gives you that ability to open it in the open it in the client application or download it. So I can make that change, go ahead and submit that permission level. So now it's view only, but it has that additional open item permission level. If I jump back over to my document library now, uh, so after you make that permission level change due to caching, refreshes, updates on the back end, uh, it can take a little bit. So there may be a few minute delay here where it's two, three, four minutes. But after a few minutes, if you do a refresh and click on the ellipses, all of a sudden I have that download option back. So I could click download for Word documents. I can click download for PDF files. Back in that classic UI, if I jump back there, I uh, have those same options. Where now I have that download option back for my Word document. It's still there for PDF files. So that one permission level makes all the difference when it comes to how those are configured. So I'm gonna go back in here, my view only, and reset this permission level, remove the open items on view only, submit, and that will go ahead and update those permissions so that back in my uh, documents library now, if I head back out of that classic experience to the new modern UI, make sure everything is updated. Again, it'll take a few minutes that download will eventually go away. The nice thing about this is, is because it's tied to that single permission level, the open items, if you would actually want to create the option for users to upload files or edit files but not download them, you can go in and create your own permission levels, grant some of those add, edit capabilities, and remove the download options. Uh, the interesting thing about all this is it's not really documented anywhere. So I started digging through the documentation a little bit and you do have the view only permission level listed here, but it doesn't actually mention anywhere blocking downloads. Read, it gives that explicit mention of this allows you to download documents. You have this download a PDF at the bottom, but those are the only two mentions of downloading files in the permission level documents. You'll also see this doesn't apply to SharePoint Online or SharePoint in Microsoft 365, as it is apparently now referred to in the documentation. This is only 2013, 2016, and 2019. So I dug around a little bit more, um, and there really isn't anything there when you start looking at SharePoint in Microsoft 365. You have sharing and permissions in the SharePoint Modern Experience, but nowhere in here are any of those downloading or even those permission levels mentioned. So if you start looking for like the view only permission level or the read permission level, uh, none of that's mentioned. So this doesn't really appear to be documented very well either when it comes to, is this going to stick around or is the whole integration with Microsoft 365 groups and the integration with Teams and all of that are eventually all these permission levels gonna go away. It just, it seems kind of vague and I'm surprised this isn't documented better within the Microsoft documentation and how it works. But anyway, there you go. That's how you can actually give them view access without downloading in SharePoint Online in the modern experience. So it works for all of those files in the modern UI. Again, just be a little wary because you still do have that option to switch back to classic. And the behavior of view only, specifically as it relates to downloading files and various file types, does vary between that modern UI and the classic UI. So hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, if you learned something, like the video, subscribe, click the bell, follow us as we continue to upload more of these videos to our YouTube channel. And let me know in the comments, any questions you have, any insights you have around this, if you have some different thoughts about it, or any other videos you wanna see as it relates to SharePoint, Microsoft 365, and just that modern desktop or modern workplace experience uh, in general. So thanks again.